slipping and sliding to avoid cars with an unexpected ending that's coming up right there. Jumps the medium strip, hits that palm tree. The impact was obviously more than the palm tree could take, and down it came. NBC 4's Patrick Healy is live in Santa Fe Springs right now, where he's learned that this same individual in the SUV led officers on another pursuit just the night before, Patrick. Chuck, indeed, it was a pursuit in two stages, and who knows how much longer it would have continued had it not been for the palm trees in the median behind us. And when it came to an end, the only news chopper above was News Chopper 4. Here we go, abrupt driving here. Look Megan Reyes there. overhead of News Chopper oh, 4 as the fleeing the SUV car. got tripped up on the right median here. and Crash smashed into a palm tree, tree which there then goes. toppled suspect to the ground. Right it's work Ready done. The unhurt suspect finally giving up. Oh, oh it's, it's okay, he's, he's complying. The reckless driving, the weaving in and out of traffic lanes, cutting berms at freeway ramps, that had begun earlier. Speed, he's doing at least 95 miles per hour on the right shoulder, extremely dangerous here. In fact, Montebello police tell us officers had spotted this forerunner being driven recklessly before midnight last night. And during the active pursuit, he was involved in the collision and he fled the scene. Police have now identified the driver as 22-year-old Brandon Rodolfo Rivas of Montebello. I, I saw him last night. He, he came in so fast and quickly. Neighbor Anna Romero said her arriving neighbor then did something odd. Do I, he's standing right there in the gate. To look, at, look at right there, so looking like this. Police never went to the house overnight, but this morning, the SUV was spotted by day shift officers given the license plate at roll call, and the pursuit was joined again, this time leading down the 5 freeway to Florence Avenue, where the SUV finally met its match in the turn onto Orende Road. Here we go, abrupt driving here, looking to make that turn right there, oh, really close to that car, spun out, crashed right there, he crashed, knocked down that tree, my goodness, there he goes, suspect is giving up here. Rivas bounded out unhurt, Superior Court records show he has been arrested and charged with a variety of counts at least three times since 2012. In fact, we've learned Rivas was due to be arraigned in the East L.A. courthouse on a vehicle code violation at 8.30 this morning, just five minutes after the encounter with the palm tree here. That arraignment did not happen. Instead, he went into custody. Reporting live from Santa Fe Springs, Patrick Healy, NBC4. A dangerous pursuit through East L.A. comes to a crashing end in Santa Fe Springs. The driver slams into a palm tree. NBC4's Annette Ariola is live where the driver was taken into custody. Annette. Ted, good morning. Hello, everybody. Officials cleared the scene out here well over an hour ago. Crews also worked diligently in getting that palm tree removed here at the intersection of Florence and Orende. And yes, the streets are back up and running, but let's go ahead and show our viewers that dramatic moment of impact. We're looking to make that turn right there. Oh, really close to that car. Spun out, crashed right there. Investigators say the man driving the Toyota Ford Runner is Brandon Rivas of Montebello. He led police on a short but high-speed pursuit, reaching speeds of well up to 90 miles an hour, starting in Montebello, going through East L.A., City of Commerce, and then hopping on the 5 and the 605 freeways where he kept weaving in and out of lanes. Montebello police says this same vehicle was involved in another chase last night after their officers attempted to pull it over for reckless driving, but the SUV got away after hitting a car in Pico Rivera. Well, this morning, their patrol there officers go, spotted go, the Toyota again. They tried pulling it over, but the driver kept going. Today's chase lasted no more than 13 minutes, and just moments after exiting the freeway, the driver lost control as he made a left turn. Yeah, the driver crashed into the center divider. He exited the truck. He was arrested moments later. No injuries, as far as we know, reported. We are told that he will likely face charges for felony evading and hit and run. Reporting live this morning from Santa Fe Springs, Annette Arriola, NBC. Slipping and sliding to avoid cars with an unexpected ending that's coming up right there. Jumps the medium strip, hits that palm tree. The impact was obviously more than the palm tree could take, and down it came. NBC 4's Patrick Healy is live in Santa Fe Springs right now, where he's learned that this same individual in the SUV led officers on another pursuit just the night before, Patrick. 
Chuck, indeed, it was a pursuit and two stages, and who knows how much longer it would have continued had it not been for the palm trees in the median behind us. And when it came to an end, the only news chopper above was News Chopper 4. Here we go, abrupt driving here. Look Megan Reyes right overhead in News Chopper oh, 4 as the really fleeing SUV hard. got tripped up on the right median here. and Crash smashed into a palm tree, tree which there then toppled to the ground. It's work Ready done. The unhurt suspect finally giving up. Oh, oh it's, it's okay, he's, he's complying. The reckless driving, the weaving in and out of traffic lanes, cutting berms at freeway ramps.